Central Tidewater Tournament and the elementary level presentation site of the Fine Arts Challenge Get a Clue. Today you're going to witness a mystery story unfold live on stage. The ending will be a surprise to everyone, including the team. Who did it? What caused the mystery? The answer is in one of these envelopes. Who will the clues point to? What ingenious methods will the team use to unravel the answer? Let's find out. Sit back and let this team unravel their mystery. <coughs> now I'm pleased, er, each team here today has worked hard for the past several months to prepare for the tournament. So please avoid any activity that might be disruptive. So please turn off any personal electronic devices such as cell phones, smartphones, or tablets that might interfere with the team's presentation. Now I'm proud to present the Fabulous Four from Marchmont. And their team manager is Miss Page, and the team has given permission for filming, but has not given permission for flash photography. The team has provided three potential suspect characters who could be the mystery maker. Now the team will choose one envelope. The envelope has been placed inside this tape square and will not be removed or opened until the team wishes to find out the identity of the mystery maker. So team, are you ready? Fabulous Four! Appraisers, are you ready? Get a clue, we're ready for you. Audience, are you ready? She must be the one who did it. He lies. I would never do that. I'm Bright Star from the Shine Tribe, by the way. That girl over there looks pretty suspicious, if you ask me. Why don't you go ask her? Shoe Shine? Do you make a living shining shoes? I could use some shiny shoes. You did. I did. That girl happens to be my daughter, Sally. She would never do such a thing. Exactly. It's most likely Jesse James. I heard him muttering about how jealous he was of the beard. I already told you I didn't do it. It's, it was Bright Star from the Shashine tribe. She must want to take revenge for her tribe. Just because your wagon trail thing has pushed my tribe back so far, doesn't mean I would shave off Mr. Williams' beard. I told you it was... Enough! You're all suspects. It was not me. It was you. It was not you. Stop. I'm having a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. What is he doing? I think it's a magic wand. Definitely. Totally. Totally. I agree. I found this footprint by my bed, and it wasn't there when I went 
to bed last night. I also have this wonderful foot measuring device that can tell me how deep and how wide the footprint is. So now I will measure your feet. It couldn't have possibly been me. I wonder who it was. It certainly wasn't me. It wasn't me. I love the way he looks with his beard. Such a handsome dad. <laughs> the person who has done this will be punished. Just so you know. Even Sally. Even Sally. Oregon Trail started, my people have been forced out of our land. I wanted to take revenge by shaving off some of the important spears. Bright Star's footprint was deeper than Jesse's, no, it was deeper than Sally's, but shallower than Jesse's, and was wider than Sally's, but smaller than Jesse's. I knew I saw Bright Star lurking near our wagon last night. And I saw her too. Uh, fine, I will make a deal with you. If you promise not to do something like this again, I will try not to pass in too many of your lands. Deal. But what did you do with my beard? That's a story for another time. One, One wagon trail, two wagon trail, three wagon trail, four wagon trail, five wagon trail. It's another time. Fine, it's on the cat. No!